In today's original, nearly a month after the release of Avatar 2 The Way of Water, we talk about the future of the movie series, or more specifically about the direct sequel Avatar 3. We give you all the details about the story, the cast, and the production, as well as an overview of the currently popular theories. For all those who have not yet seen Avatar The Way of Water, be aware of potential spoilers. Have fun watching! In 2009, James Cameron succeeded in making Avatar a huge hit, which made the project the most successful movie of all time. Cameron has conceived the franchise for a total of five films, and they are thus closely related to each other. For this reason, it is important to recall the current storyline before considering the third part's possible plot. In Avatar, the story revolves around the soldier Jake Sully, who lands in a spaceship together with many other humans on the moon Pandora. This is more than four light years away from Earth, and is said to be a potentially suitable location for the valuable resource Unobtainium. Thanks to a new experiment, the paraplegic Sully is given a so-called avatar, which can be controlled mentally and which is based on the appearance of the natives of Pandora, the so-called Navi. Thus, despite his disability, he can explore the moon and meets the beautiful Nitiri. As the story unfolds, Jake falls in love with her and even switches sides to join the natives and fight against the martial exploitation led by Colonel Miles Quaritch. In short, Jake decides to give up his human body and live fully as an avatar, and thus as a member of the Navi. Meanwhile, the humans end up defeated and Colonel Quaritch is killed. For the time being, the danger seems to have been averted. However, peace does not last forever, as we were made aware by the second part released a few weeks ago. Several years after the attack on Pandora, Jake and Natiri have fathered three children and adopted two, but the family's happiness is quickly disrupted when it becomes apparent that the humans are once again plotting an attack on Pandora. It turns out that the dead colonel has been resurrected in the form of an avatar. To be more precise, he had his memories implanted into one. Still, he is a soldier at least as determined as he is ruthless, which is why it doesn't take long before there are the first clashes between the Navi and the Avatar soldiers. As a result, Spider, the human child of the Sully family, is abducted and forced to work alongside Quaritch. The fact that he is the deceased colonel's biological son doesn't make things any easier. Having their home overrun by soldiers, the Sullys escape to the Metkayina clan located on Pandora's reefs. There, they receive a not very warm welcome, yet little by little, they get to understand the new culture and life underwater. In the process, Loak, one of the sons, meets an outcast whale-like Tolkien, with whom he instantly forms a close bond. Meanwhile, his sister Kiri discovers her spiritual connection to Pandora's consciousness, Iwa, and Spider begins to see Quaritch as more than a mere enemy. In the final clash, it eventually comes to another showdown between the Navi and the soldiers under Quaritch. The battle causes many casualties, including Natayim, the eldest son of the Sullys. In the end, the Navi come out victorious, even though Spider chooses to save his, so to speak, father from drowning at the last second, leaving plenty of options for part three. The Sullys, due to their valiant fight, are now a respected part of the Metkayina and are preparing for the next conflict. Avatar 3 is pretty much completed already. Regarding the plot, there are some hints that are currently being discussed a lot and that we want to further explore at this point. Shortly before the release of Avatar The Way of Water, producer John Landau talked about the sequel in an interview with Collider. In terms of storytelling, they want to raise the bar significantly. This includes adding more clans to the story and introducing new biomes. Each of these involves high technological requirements, similar to the jump from the first to the second part with representation of the highly detailed underwater world. Thus, for the third part, there should be a significant improvement both story-wise and with respect to the cinematic experience. While this makes us very excited, it hardly gives us any concrete information about the plot. Somewhat more specific is director James Cameron in an interview with 20 Minutes France, which took place last December. According to the interview, Avatar 3 will introduce a new clan that differs from the existing Navi. This is a clan of Ash people, which will be strongly linked to the element of fire. With it, Cameron wants to bring in an evil part of the Navi, having so far portrayed more the good sides of the race, with humans being the sole antagonists. This black and white thinking will thus change somewhat in the upcoming film, and there will certainly be a few Navi among the upcoming villains. However, Colonel Quaritch will remain as the main enemy. The Sully family will also be the focus of attention as before. Thanks to the back-to-back -back shooting, the aging process of the child actors is kept to a minimum, although this would only be noticeable in the case of the human spider at most. So, a particularly big time jump is not to be expected. Cameron also revealed that new universes will be explored at the same time. Could this mean a world beyond that of Pandora? Along with Cameron's interview, the cinematographer Russell Carpenter has also revealed something about the third part. According to him, the third part will feature even more underwater scenes, which makes sense given the fact that the Sullys will stay with the Metkayina. 
An important source of previous speculation was also a 2018 BBC leak that revealed the alleged titles of all four sequels. Among them was The Way of Water, which proved the leaks to be true. However, Cameron recently denied that the other titles correspond to the truth and that there was no agreement on the upcoming titles yet. The title The Seed Bearer is said to be intended for the third installment. Many reports are currently using this title for the third movie, but it is not likely that Cameron would allow himself to be dictated to by a leak. Since the release of Avatar The Way of Water, there has been a lot of speculation about how the movie series will continue. There are some exciting fan theories that we don't want to keep from you. One theory concerns the Fire Navi, who were teased by Cameron. Some suggest that they are not a real clan at all, but various outcast individuals from all the Navi nations. A clue to this could be a scene in the first part, when Jake wakes up covered in ashes after the attack on the Tree of Souls. According to him, he has been to a place that the eye does not see. This could be a reference to the traditional Navi greeting, which is, I see you. With this in mind, it seems quite conceivable that the outcasts are deemed dead to their clan, even though they are in fact only outcasts. Thus, they are no longer seen by their former friends. Building on this, many speculate that Korich will seek the favor of the Ash People in order to forge a powerful alliance against the other Navi. Other theories revolve around Kiri. In the second part, not only did she feel a connection to her biological mother Grace, but also to Iwa, so it's clear that she will take an especially important role in the upcoming parts. It is not far-fetched to assume that she'll act as a kind of messiah because of her special gift. At the end of Avatar The Way of Water, we already got a foretaste of this by seeing how she can control and direct other living beings and thus protect her family from death. There are other speculations that Kiri even gets to Earth in some way, although in this case, many are referring to the leaked title The Seed Bearer, which supposedly might not be correct. It is nevertheless an interesting idea to have Kiri perform miracles as a seed bearer and messiah on the perishing distant Earth. Regarding the cast, information is still very scarce. It is certain that almost all the protagonists of the second film will return, including Sam Worthington as Jake Sully, Zoe Saldana as Neytiri, Stephen Lang as Colonel Quaritch, and Sigourney Weaver as Kiri. The other children, Loak, Tuck, and Spider, will also come back. Spider will surely play a major role alongside Kiri as well, as he's bound to run into some moral conflicts with his father. There are also three new actors, namely Game of Thrones actress Una Chaplin, Harry Potter actor David Thewlis, and Everything Everywhere All at Once star Michelle Yeoh. We cannot wait to see who else joins the cast. The future of the film series depends heavily on the success of the currently running Avatar The Way of Water. Although the film has long since surpassed the $1 billion US dollar mark in box office takings, it is debatable whether the film will be profitable for Disney. The reason for this is the high production costs of the film series, which are considerably higher than those of comparable films due to the complex filming. For example, James Cameron's team relies on gigantic underwater tanks in order to shoot the relevant scenes there, instead of just simulating it all digitally. Moreover, it recently became known that the current cut of Avatar The Seed Bearer is a whopping nine hours. This is because Cameron basically had all the scenes he came up with filmed, even though he already knew that he would surely edit out more than half of them. All in all, the filming of James Cameron's declared life's work and passion project, Avatar, is anything but easy, even for a giant corporation like Disney. Filming is finished, and the movie is almost done. After post-production, which will probably be completed in the course of the year, the people involved will move on to the promotional phase. The final movie will then be released in theaters on December 20th, 2024. Here you go. We hope you enjoyed our new original. What do you think of the newest Avatar installment, The Way of Water? And what would the perfect sequel look like in your opinion? Feel free to tell us your thoughts in the comments.